for the first time since sharing content on YouTube, this is my first time ever sharing my Robinhood portfolio. The purpose of me sharing my portfolio today is to show you guys where I started at, which is on Robinhood. I started investing February the 1st of this year, and you're going to see that from the time that I started investing, and if you look at my more recent portfolios on Weeble or SoFi, you will see that my investing style has changed a lot. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys, as I said in my previous video, I have been transferring money from this Robinhood portfolio and putting that money towards my Weeble stock portfolio. So let's look at that first. As you can see here, I've been withdrawing money. I even withdrew money this morning. I withdrew $36 and every day as I've been selling off positions in this portfolio, I've been withdrawing money from this Robinhood account, depositing it in my checking account and then reinvesting that money into my Weeble stock portfolio. So as you can see here, I have not deposited any money in this account since September. So the last deposit that I made in this account was September 23rd. And as I told you guys in the previous video that I was going to sell off the positions in my Robinhood portfolio, deposit that money back into my bank and then redeposit that money into my Weeble stock portfolio and reinvest that money. And that's exactly what I've been doing as you guys can see here. So total, I've withdrawn over $300 from my Robinhood portfolio and reinvested that money into my Weeble stock portfolio. And as you can see here, I also still have dividends coming into this portfolio as well. So I have a pending dividend for Macy's on January 2nd. I have another pending dividend on December 31st for a monthly paying dividend stock ECC. I have another dividend coming in on December 31st for another monthly dividend paying stock OXLC. I have a dividend payment coming in on the 26th for CE, which is another monthly dividend paying stock. And then I have two dividends coming in tomorrow for ZTR and PEC, which both are also monthly dividend paying stocks. And the last dividend that I received in this portfolio was for Six Flags on December 9th. I received the 83 cent dividend. So I still got dividends coming into this portfolio for monthly paying stocks that I own. And now I'm going to show you guys my current portfolio value for Robinhood and also the stocks that I still own in Robinhood. So as of today, I am up $2.45, but I am down $0.16 cents in the after hours. For the week, I am up $21.79, which is a 2.85% gain for the month i am up thirty dollars and fifteen cents or three point nine nine percent for the three month i am down eleven dollars and sixty six cents or one point forty six percent and for the year i am down nineteen dollars and three cents or two point thirty six percent and overall since february the first when i opened this account and started investing I am down $19.03 or $2, excuse me, 2.36%. So I'm going to show you guys the stocks that I own in this portfolio. I mainly own a bunch of monthly dividend paying stocks because as I said, I started this portfolio as I was learning to invest and I was learning my investment style. So I own nine shares of ECC. 13 shares of OXLC, these are all monthly paying dividend stocks. 16 shares of CEN, 
I own six shares of Taylor brand, which they cut their dividend. They were paying a nice dividend, but they don't pay any dividend anymore. I own two shares of Macy's, 10 shares of Ford, seven shares of GEO. It is a very controversial stock. It is um, prisons. I own one share of Six Flags. I own two shares of MLPA, which is another monthly paying stock. I own another three shares of ENLC, another monthly paying stock. And I own six shares of ZTR, which is also another monthly dividend paying stock. And that's where my current equity is in this Robinhood portfolio. So the reason that I wanted to go over my Robinhood portfolio today is because the awesome thing about being a human is we get to adapt to our environment and we're able to change our minds. So I've had a sort of change of heart due to a email that I received today and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys now. As you guys can see here, I received my notification that I am off the waiting list for the Robinhood cash management account. And it tells you here you're going to earn 1.8%. There's no catch. There's no minimums. And then it's going to ask me to go ahead and put in my mailing address. And it tells you that you can access your cash anytime. And it tells you that there's 75000 ATMs that you can use for free and to go with the standard Robinhood um, card since it's a Robinhood cash management account. Now that I've accepted the Robinhood cash management account cash spending card, you may be thinking, what's next for my Robinhood portfolio? Well, as most of you may know or have heard by now, Robinhood also launched their waiting list for fractional share investing and they've also added the feature of drip which is dividend reinvestment um, plan where users can reinvest their dividends back into their stocks that paid them a dividend. I am going to continue to have my Robinhood account open. I am going to start a new Robinhood Grow Your Dough Challenge where I am sharing my Robinhood portfolio for the first time on YouTube. Moving forward, I will start that challenge in 2020 and I will give you guys the details of that challenge either on January the 1st or December the 31st. I will not be adding any new money to my Robinhood portfolio, but I will continue to sell off the current stocks in this portfolio and I will hold this money in my Robinhood portfolio rather than what I have been doing and that's transferring the money to my Weeble portfolio. If you guys haven't yet and you're interested in opening a Robinhood portfolio, you can use my link in the description. You will receive a free stock and so will I. Also, if you guys follow my other portfolios with Weeble or SoFi Invest, I also have links in the description where you can receive free stocks or you can receive money towards buying stocks that you like on SoFi Invest. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. The channel is growing. I'm almost at 400 subscribers. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also like the video because it does help with the YouTube algorithms as well as leave a comment below if you have any questions about what I've shared with you guys today. Also be sure to share this content if you know someone who can use this content in order to learn something or Maybe they just have questions about Robinhood or maybe they were considering closing their Robinhood account and they want some reasons why they should continue to invest with Robinhood. Again, I am Marie Brown. This is my channel, Minds in Motion, where we talk about personal finances, investing, and how to become the best version of yourself. Thank you so much, guys, and have an amazing day.